respected former agriculture minister of uh, Andhra, comrade <coughs> Krishna Prasad, uh, respected mini former minister Sri V S Rao, comrade Krishna Prasad, and other leaders of Kisan Sabha, and comrades and friends. At the outset, I would like to convey greetings on behalf of uh, people of Kerala to all of you. Friends and comrades, as you are aware, Kerala is a state which created history not only by electing the first ever communist government in the country and in our continent, but also by creating a different development trajectory in the country. Gauronilu, Maji, Mantiru, De Sobana Sraru, Krishna Prasad Garu, Vedic Meduna, Kisan Sabanaiklu, Andarki, Kerala Prajil Tarfana, Natarfana, Abinanal Telejasana. Me Andarki Telsu, Kerala Oka Charitra Tunga, Presidi Ganchindi, Ante Inikulo Galotum. Barat desa ini lori kadu, ini Asia khanda lori matmur sariga komunis prabutung Kerala lori dikaran lori kucindi. Atlagi percaya kami nanti pada tul lori Kerala lori perayaan gula cestan. I am thankful to you for extending your support and solidarity to the work being done by the LDF government in Kerala and your initiative to propagate the alternative policy that are being pursued uh, in the state. Comrades, this uh, Kerala elected the communist government led by Comrade E.M.S. Nampudiri in 1957. And that government proved or at, uh, that government laid the foundation for a modern Kerala. That government laid the foundation for a different development trajectory, which later became known as Kerala model. Alagi, me under ki the Nivadal Tiliyastranu, Karana Mentanti, Desimulo, Vasai Rangalonu, Mita Rangalonu, Prachamna, Vidhana, Olmbistana, Kerala Prabutuanki, Kerala ki. Madatu Sangiba on Tilias and the Nivadalu. At Lake, Kerala, Pamala, Afiadlo, Yembes Rambutriba, the Nai Katno, which turned to Probutu. Oka Adurika, Kerala, and Edman and Kosom, Pachamna with Hanalu, Aulamijindi, At Namaljestu, Desimon, Pacham, and Rupistano. What Kerala proved was that an alternative development uh, model is possible even within the capitalist framework. But that is not a Total, uh, totally different development model. It has its limitations because this development model is uh, constrained by the capitalist framework which is uh, prevailing in our country. Kerala lo, e petubidi dari vidhana ni ke low bade, o prachyamna e vidhana lo, aulambistu, o prachyakatan chart kuntundi, ande matthom prachyamna inga ni kaku payna e petubidi dari vidhana Framework law body There has been a lot of uh, research and studies about Kerala's uh, different development uh, trajectory. Scholars uh, like Amartya Sen, Jane Rees, and many others have done extensive research and study about. Uh, Kerala's policies, Kerala's uh, uh, model of social development, etc., etc. A recent book, hundreds of such books and uh, papers have come out about Kerala. One of the recent books published by Cambridge University Press and authored, co authored by two scholars, one from London School of Economics, uh, Dr. Turthangar Roy, and, and another one, uh, Professor Ravi Raman based in Trivandrum. This book is titled 
Kerala, India's miracle state. I, I, I would like to briefly explain you what is the miracle made possible by Kerala and how it was made possible. Atlagi, Kerala is a man in Chi, Arasano de Rutanaka, Vidhanalu, Prachamai, Padatali, Tendu Grinchi, Prabanchalunu, Desalunu, Parisan of the Rutane, Ajayan of the Rutane, Atlagi Dente, Pradhananga, Desalon Runti Pramuka, Sastravetalu, scholars, Amat Sailan Rondru, Kerala, Prachamai, Vidhanameda, Jen and Jestner, Atlagi Tivale, London School, London School Law, someone in Meda Landru, Kerala, Waka, Mirakil. Lantidi Atla Utundi India's Miracle State. Ah Bharat De Silone Kerala Oka Miracle Rastranga Abdutavina Rastranga in the Gumartan and Jepesi Walu Pastam Rasar than Pirati. This is the book which was uh, uh, published in the last month. E Pastago this one, latest one. E Pastago Anek Pastagalochini Gatolo, E Pastago Gatanello Ochini. I think uh, this so-called miracle by the uh, economist world over and uh, this, this alternative uh, development model has two main pillars. One is land reforms and second one is democratic decentralization. These are the two main pillars of uh, this uh, so-called miracle or uh, the different alternative development trajectory uh, pursued by Kerala. The first one, land reforms, ensured redistribution of economic assets. And the second uh, aspect, democratic decentralization, that uh, <coughs> ensured the redistribution of centralized political power to the people. <coughs> So both this, that is why I am calling, these are the two pillars on which this alternative development model of Kerala uh, was built. And these two pillars, one ends with economic redistribution, uh, redistribution of economic assets and the other one ends with redistribution of political power. Atlage, ee adbutani ki prathana ngay nante rendu molastambal onnay, ogati bhusaos kanalu, rendu Mana Prajaswami and Gunnar Dundi Kendri Gurta Vidalanani, Vikendri Grinstrom, Dindla Gordon and Busan Skala Samanichi, Buini, Tirigi, Pampini Jetum, Dandora Ardikinga Balopetan Jetum, Atlake, Raziking and then take Kendri Gurta and Adon to Prajaswami, Vikendri Grinchi, Gramasta Varako Tisu Bodom, Molovendi, Anduale, E. Adbutum, Sajim and Jepesi. Both this was possible by the massive uh, struggles led by peasants, working class, and uh, the communist and left and democratic movements in the country, in the states, uh, especially uh, during the days of national movement. Uh, you are aware of uh, peasant struggles that uh, happened, took place in uh, northern Malabar, like Kayur, Karivallur, and various other parts of uh, northern Malabar. The working class struggles, like Punapravailar, uh, in the southern part of Kerala. So all these struggles, uh, movements of peasants and working class, uh, that helped this radical uh, politics, the left uh, political intervention, that helped us to build a strong uh, democratic culture in the in the state and the first ever communist government was the outcome of these struggles these struggles by persons and working class when the communists came to power they implemented the policies which were the outcomes of these struggles Land for the peasant was the slogan of peasant movement uh, in the early 20th century uh, that took place in Kerala, that peasant struggles. So land for the peasants, Krishi Bhumi Krishi Karna in Malayalam. The first thing to do by the EMS government was to issue a decree, an order prohibiting uh, 
eviction then comprehensive land reforms act was brought and passed in the assembly so all these slogans were translated into policies and uh, legislations when communist party came to power in 1957 and along with this the communist government was well aware of the importance of decentralization of power it was none other than comrade ems the first chief minister who chaired the first administrative reforms committee and this administrative reforms committee headed by chief minister comrade ems recommended widespread decentralization of power decentralizing power to the people to the local levels so both these were initiated by the first uh, communist government in 1957 yes alage mee andarki telusu jatiya udyamlo anek praja poratalu jarigini pradhananga kayyuru unnapra vaayila atlanti balamaina tondi praja poratalu falithanga aa prajatantra udyamlo nunche oka balamaina communist udyamam kuda avarbhavinchindi dandone ems nayakatvamlo prabhutvam kuda erpadindi ఈఎంఎస్ నాయకత్వంలో వచ్చిన ప్రభుత్వం మొదటిగా తీసుకుంది ఏంటంటే పేదలకి భూ పంపిణీ దీన్ని కూడా ఏంటంటే ఈఎంఎస్ సంబంధించి తయారు చేసినటువంటి సమగ్ర భూ సంస్కరణ చట్టం తయారు చేశారు దాన్ని అసెంబ్లీలో ప్రవేశపెట్టి దాన్ని పాస్ చేసిన తర్వాత చిత్తశుద్ధితో అమలు చేయటం జరిగింది దీంతో పాటు అక్కడ ఉన్నటువంటి అప్పటి వరకు ఉన్నటువంటి అధికార కేంద్రీకరణని వికేంద్రీకరించి ఈ ఒక కమిటీ వేశారు ఆ కమిటీ ఈఎంఎస్ నాయకత్వం వహించారు ఆయన చూసిన మేరకు అధికారాలు ఏంటంటే గ్రామాలకి వికేంద్రీకరించి గ్రామ స్థాయిలోనే ప్రజా పరిపాలన జరగడానికి నిర్ణయాలు తీసుకున్నారు విత్ ల్యాండ్ రిఫార్మ్స్ అరౌండ్ థర్టీ నైన్ ల్యాక్ ఫ్యామిలీస్ రిసీవ్డ్ ల్యాండ్ మిలియన్స్ వర్ లిబరేటెడ్ ఫ్రమ్ ద క్లచెస్ ఆఫ్ ఫ్యూడల్ ఎక్స్ప్లోయిటేషన్ దోస్ గోట్ ల్యాండ్స్ దే కల్టివేటెడ్ ఇన్ దేర్ ఓన్ ల్యాండ్ they were able to generate income and their purchasing power increased the domestic market expanded this uh, enhanced economic activity uh, industries business this led to overall uh, economic development many of those who became owners of land they mortgaged the land uh, that became land became an economic asset no they, they were able to mortgage it many of them migrated to initially to gulf to then the second generation to many other parts of the world and uh, some of them sold off their lands then they invested in business uh, they started uh, small enterprises so the asset redistribution led to uh, economic and social development throughout the state and along with this along with this uh, education and uh, long struggle against caste oppression all this led to social uh, emancipation also so this created the foundation for uh, kerala model of development అట్లాగే భూ సంస్కరణకు సంబంధించి ముప్పై తొమ్మిది లక్షల కుటుంబాలు ఈ భూ సంస్కరణ వల్ల లబ్ధి పొందినాయి అట్లాగే కొన్ని కోట్లాది మంది ప్రజలు ఈ భూస్వామ్య శక్తుల నుండి వాటి వెట్టి చాకరీ వీటన్నిటి నుంచి విముక్తి పొందారు అట్లాగే ఈ భూ సంస్కరణ వల్ల ఈ కుటుంబాల యొక్క ఆదాయం పెరిగింది అట్లాగే అక్కడ జాతీయ స్థానికంగా ఉన్న మార్కెట్లు అభివృద్ధి అయ్యాయి ఆర్థిక కార్యకలాపాలు వ్యాపారాలు అన్నీ అభివృద్ధి అవటం వీటన్నిటి ఫలితంగా సాంకేతికంగా కూడా కొంత అభివృద్ధి చేయటం ఇవన్నీ జరిగినాయి అట్లాగే ఏంటంటే ఇప్పుడు ఈ సందర్భంలోనే విదేశాలకు పోయినటువంటి వాళ్ళు భూములు తనఖా పెట్టినటువంటి వాళ్ళందరూ జరిగింది వాటి తర్వాత విద్యకి ప్రాధాన్యత ఇవ్వటం అట్లాగే ఒక దీర్ఘకాలిక కులవక్ష వ్యతిరేకంగా ఆ రాష్ట్రంలో పోరాటాలు చేయడంతో ఆ రాష్ట్రంలో ఈ అన్నిటి పునాదిగా ఒక మోడల్ కేరళ రాష్ట్రాన్ని అభివృద్ధి చేయడం సాధ్యమైంది హవర్ ద కేరళ మోడల్ హ్యాడ్ ఇట్స్ ఓన్ లిమిటేషన్స్ అండ్ బీ బెల్ అవేర్ ఆఫ్ ద లిమిటేషన్స్ ఎస్ ఐ సెడ్ ఎయిర్ this kerala model is not a uh, comprehensive alternative this kerala is part of uh, india 
Kerala can only uh, function, the government of Kerala can only function within the limitations set by our constitution, the federal structure, etc., etc. So this is a limited alternative within the capitalist uh, uh, framework uh, existing in our country. Uh, we realized that by early 90s, we realized that this Kerala model has led to a stagnation. There has been a point beyond which uh, we cannot uh, move, so we need to uh, innovate and we uh, need to further um, improve our, uh, our, our policies, our uh, activities, etc. So, uh, it was none other but Comrade EMS who first realized that the Kerala model has its uh, limitations and we need to overcome this uh, limitation. Then uh, at the same time came the 73rd and 74th uh, uh, amendment to our constitution, Panjayat Raj and Nagarbaliga uh, amendments in the early 90s. These amendments were uh, brought by the then union government. But Kerala utilized these amendments to further strengthen our uh, democratic decentralization and our local governance system. Kerala already had a robust system of local self-government and this uh, constitutional amends, amendments were utilized further to more strengthen our local self-government institutions and our uh, system of decentralization. Atlage, Kerala de Akadona Prachamna, Putti Samagrama in the Jepesi, Mayo Ancoledu, Danukoduko in a perimetral night, Dini Samaninchi, Panala Tomba in Chemu, Dini Atla Adikiminchali, Kotakota Padatalemone, E Padaldor, Mundikala in Jepes Alo incham, E perimetralni, Motaga, EMS Nambudripadaga, Gutinchi, Daninchi, Bait Patanki, Pratum, Paramincharu, Atlai Desiolo, Dabemur Debenal Rajanga Savaran Lochini, Dani, Kerala Rasham, Baga. Opey bet kuni inka ekku adhikara lichi atla mundi kada lan jipche pero atla ke boshe mei andro kuni YouTube channel se jusun tar Kerala aye se dikari Krishna teja ne ukai na Kerala lo sarpanch chente mukhya mandro samano standing committee chairman chente ayna municipal sa committee to samano an jipche si video ko lochni aave denga arashan lo sthani ke paripalan ki avakasha lochni even before the 73rd and 74 uh, constitutional amendments. Kerala had initiated uh, the formation of district council in the state. Uh, I think in 1990, the first ever elections to district council held in Kerala, and district councils were formed in all 14 districts. But later, the uh, Congress government which came to power, they dissolved all these district council. Uh, then this uh, constitutional amendment came, and this three-tier system of uh, Gram Panchayat, Block Panchayat, and District Panchayat came into existence. Uh, anyway, we ensured sufficient funds to these uh, local self-government institutions and de uh, devolved, we devolved not only funds but powers also. Many department uh, functions were devolved to uh, this three-tier system in uh, district panchayat, block panchayat, and gram panchayat, and municipalities and corporations. In 97-98, the year in which we started a campaign called People's Plan Campaign. The ninth plan, uh, that was the ninth plan period. And uh, incidentally, uh, I was a member of uh, block panchayat, and I was a chairperson of a standing committee of block panchayat at that time. I was a student and a student leader, uh, but at the same time, uh, I became a standing chairperson of a standing committee of Block Panchayat, and so I was uh, personally involved in my very younger days in this People's uh, Plan campaign. Pe People's Plan means we converted this ninth uh, five-year plan into a People's Plan by ensuring massive people participation in the planning process. So it was decentralized and people's participation was ensured. So in this way, 
both decentralization and massive participation of people. Gram Sabhas were held. Massive participation was the remarkable aspect of these Gram Sabhas. Apart from Gram Sabhas, every local level uh, development seminars held, experts and uh, public uh, representatives and common people were part of a technical committee. They uh, sat together, they uh, put together their heads and uh, projects were uh, prepared at local level, at uh, panchayat levels. Project preparation happened. They were able to decide what should be the development activities uh, in, in their locality, in their panchayats. So it was a new experience. The first time in the country, probably the first time in the world, a planning process was uh, enriched by massive participation of people. So this was the essence of people's uh, plan campaign. Atlagi, Debbie Modu Debala Rajang Savarona Chinapudu, Panal Tombaya Prantalo, Jilla Council in Nikil Jirgini, Padnal Jilla with Jirgini, Taravata, Dini, Modu style low, three tier system low, and Tanik Samastalni, Petti, in Nikil Ravinston, Astani Samastalki Nidili Watamekadu, Adikara Alkoda Ichi, Roch Hincham, Din Taravat in Dente, Panal Tombaya to Tombay in the Prantalo, People's Plan Campaign and Prajila. Bagaswaminto, he plan Rupan in Shanaki campaign Jesum. Then is Samanchi, Apodeno, Vijay Sanganai Kodagondi, Black Panchayat, Mamargan, standing on Cheriga on a play, he Padatanta, Zergin, the Dantlo and a projection of Palgunar. Apu with the Oxon Central Kakonda is Central Samanchin and T. Plani, Rupan in Chum. Plan of Pine Rupan in Chitan Kakonda. Massive Prajalandan in the Intlo Bagaswamin Jesum. A Bagaswamin got in the Gramastai to Potu. Inca Kindistai Kelly, Stani Kinga, Kuni Seminar Levi, Pitam, what Anit Lonu, Praja Pratil Tony, Kakunda, Prajalandani Dintlo, Bagasam in Jetu, Walato Patu, Akuna Tonti, Sanke Tika Unga, on a Tonto Pantamandi, Yetulu, Yetra, Prajalni, E. Grama Stilo, Atlantic Project Lu, Yabrutiki, Tiskunta Bound and Yepesi, Dantlo Chetincha, Danto Intente, Kindistilo, E. Project to Yepudela Tiskuni. ఈ రాష్ట్రాన్ని ఈ ప్రాంతాన్ని అభివృద్ధి చేయాలని చెప్పేసి రూపొందించడానికి ఉపయోగపడింది ఇది బోసా ఈ దేశంలోనూ ప్రపంచంలోనూ మొట్టమొదటిసారి జరుగుతుంది This People's Plan campaign was launched in 1997-98 and in that year Kerala devolved 26.3% of its state budget to panchayats and municipalities That means more than one fourth of the state budget was given to panchayats and municipalities. This was the first time in the history of our country and Kerala was the first state to devolve such a massive amount to panchayats and municipalities. And uh, uh, in, in those days, every five years, Kerala witnessed a change in government. So after the LDF government, then the UDF will come uh, back to power. Again, the LDF will come when the UDF government came to power, they diluted uh, the spirit of uh, decentralization. Uh, they reduced the allocation to state government, to, to these uh, panchayats and municipalities. However, the Sixth Finance Commission had recommended that there should be uh, a de devolution of at least 30% of state budget to panchayats and municipalities. And the pre previous LDF government, led by uh, Comrade Pinarayi Vijayan, this is the second term. In his first term, his government accepted this Sixth Finance Commission recommendation to enhance uh, devolution to local self-government institution by 0.5% every year till it reaches 30%. Every year there will be an hike of 0.5% in devolution to panchayats and municipalities till the total devolution reaches 30%. The, in the current year, in 24-25, 28.09% of state budget is devolved to, is given to panchayats and municipalities. 
within the next two years, it will reach, uh, next four years, it will reach 30%. That means almost one third of the state budget will go to panchayats and municipalities. So, with this enormous funds and uh, powers, this local bodies are not mere local bodies in Kerala. These local bodies, we call them as LSGIs, Local Self-Government Institutions. They act as local governments. For us, it's like union government, state government, local government. And they are involved in every sphere of uh, uh, life in, in their respective uh, locality. When the floods happened, the worst uh, flood of 2018 and almost a repetition uh, of the same flood in 2019, when those floods happened, that flood management, even the rescue and rehabilitation uh, activities, a major responsibility was played by local self-government institutions. Kerala was able to uh, and one Rastra budget law, Panchayatilki, Munspaltiki, Ogiti by Nalgovantu, Kata Incham, Atlake, Prati Aid Sotralki, Kerala law, Prabutalu, LDF, UDF, Mart Mandrak Tilsu, Atlake, UDF, Fadikar Lokachin Rata, LDF, Prabutun Discontonti, Atlanti, Aburti Karman, Vidhanal, Balahena Parstu, Nirgar Stomavi, Zergevi, Atlake Aroka, Arava, the Finance Commission. Recommendation Mariku Mukpe Satam budget ni State Finance Commission. Ah, state, oh sorry. Not Union Finance Commission. Okay, okay. Uh state uh Rastra Finance Commission Mukpe Satam budget ni Panchayatilki Munspalti Rajana. Rastram Raj. State state okay. Okay. Uh Kata in Salanji PC recommend yes the Dani Modati Penrai Gari Prabhutto Pratisonchano Sunna Point I Satum Pinchutu Mukpe Satan Cherukon Tamanji Pichi Peru. Dantlo Bagangane, Iravan Algu, Iravay the Kuchirabuki, Iravay in the points on Natum Misato, Rastra budget low, Panchayat Likistano. Evidanga, Samagranga, Nidulu, Adikara Lu, Ivotonto, Stanik Samastalu, Epakapu, Spandinch Tanki, Bontone, Dani Samanchi, local self governance of institutions and Yepes than Koda, Alprebertro, and a Atlantan that is Stanik Samastalka, Adikara Lu, Nidulu, Untamala, Varaluche, Ronella Padini Pondamedillo, Varalu Chinapudu. What in Nevaran Staniki, Atlake, Akadaventane, Saturanga, Cheril, the Skodanki, while Rakshin Staniki, Rastra Putin and Munde, Chala, Ekuga, Astanik Samastale, Jokinja Skodon, Watni, Settle Jay to any Ruthi, and a Vedanga Palante, Prabutu Savalu, Prati in Tiki, Prati Gadapaki, Ventane, Charitamanedi, a local Vitidora, Sajamutundi, Atake Akarana Motum Prajali, Bajit Tiskuni, while Kausar and Cherilu Jagatlu. This is the case of 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 the the gives 28 point, more than 28% of its state budget to local self-government institutions. Local self-government institutions earmark 30% of its uh, uh, resources, financial resources, to the priority sector. And a major chunk of this uh, 30% goes to agriculture. Because agriculture uh, is in the priority sector, no? Agriculture sector and agriculture and allied activities. So that is why this local self-government institutions and uh, agricultural activities are closely linked. That is how this uh, decentralisation uh, and local uh, in self-government institutions help agricultural economy and agricultural activities in the state. So 30 percent goes to priority sector. Like a Rastra budget law, Eroin Sato, local self government bodies Kistanapuru, Dantla Intente, Mupe Sato, Osayanke, Osay Rubunda, Karekramalke, Ertune. Another important 
alternative uh, initiative launched by LDF government in Kerala uh, is Kudumbasri. Kudumbasri is a huge, vast network of women self-help groups. And this was also launched in 1998. So this was an outcome of this People's Plan campaign. In 1998, People's Plan campaign launched massive participation of uh, common people in, in uh, planning uh, happened with the People's Plan campaign. Along with this, we launched women's self-help group called Kudumbasri. Now Kudumbasri has completed uh, 25 years. Kudumbasri has uh, 3.16 lakh neighborhood groups, women groups and a total membership of more than 46 lakh women. So this is the uh, strongest network of women self-help group in the world, I think. I believe so. And this Kudumbasri has helped in a big way in, in changing the life of millions of women in the state. This has given immense contribution in the empowerment of women in Kerala. This has led to economic empowerment, social empowerment, cultural empowerment and political empowerment. This has drastically changed women's lives in the last 25 years. Kudumbasri is part of, uh, is involved in agriculture, small business, and even in waste management. The presence of Kudumbasri, the involvement of Kudumbasri is uh, there in, the, in, in every walks of uh, life of Kerala. In, in the field of agriculture, Kudumbasri has formed 90,000 farming groups, women fa farmers groups, 90,000 groups have been farmed by Kudum, uh, formed by Kudumbasri and they are cultivating in 15,318 hectares of land. And the total number of women farmers engaged in agriculture, engaged in cultivation under the leadership of Kudumbasri is 4.15 lakh. We have 4.15 lakh women farmers led by Kudumbasri. These uh, women farmers will be given uh, various support by Kudumbasri. They will be given uh, loans, bank loans and uh, interest subsidy, incentives. So various supports will be given to these women farmers. Atlage, e Prachamanaya Dintlo Pratnolo a people's plan lo Bagangane, Kutumbasri Oti Tiskocham, Adi Sri Laga Samaninchi, so in Sahaika group loop, Dintlo Dadapu e scheme of Chi Ray Sotral Purtendi, Dillo Mudu Point, OTR Lakshalamandi, Mahila group lune, Nalafayar Lakshalamandi, Mahila Dintlo Naru, Din Walla in the Tech on a million Lakudi, Mahila, Jivitalo, Marpulti Surad on Sajavendi, and a Dintlo Edo in the Kakunda, Ardikinga while Jivitalo Marplochini. Samajikinga Marpochindi, Atake, Sanskritinga or Marpochini, Anitik Minchi, Rajiki Rangalakoda, Vella, Mundikal Tanki, Avakash Mochindi. At a Vasa Rangani Ganka Dusti Kutumbusri Dora, Tadapu, Tombay Vela Vasayam, Sauji Se, Mahila Grupulu, Ivasa Lone, Tadapu, Padihenu Vela Hector Laku Paiga, Ilu, Ivasa and Grupul Sauji Dintlo, Nalgu Point to Vite, the Lakshalamandi, Isagulo. Mahilu, Bagasam Lotanaru, 
వీళ్ళకి రుణాలు ఇవ్వటం అట్లాగే వడ్డీ రాయితీ ఇవ్వటం అట్లాగే ఇంకా అనేక విత్తనాలు ఇంకా ఎరువులు వీటన్నిటికి సంబంధించి సబ్సిడీలు కూడా ఇస్తున్నాం కేరళస్ డిపెండెన్స్ ఆన్ అదర్ స్టేట్స్ ఫర్ వెజిటబుల్స్ అండ్ రైస్ ఇస్ వెల్ నోన్ దిస్ డ్యూరింగ్ దిస్ ఓనం కుటుంబశ్రీ విమెన్ గ్రూప్స్ కల్టివేటెడ్ వెజిటబుల్స్ ఇన్ మోర్ దాన్ సిక్స్ థౌసండ్ హెక్టేర్స్ ఆఫ్ ల్యాండ్ ఇట్ వాస్ ఎ స్పెషల్ డ్రైవ్ బై కుటుంబశ్రీ and uh, these vegetables were uh, the marketing of this uh, produ- produce was made possible through kudumbasri led onam phase more than 2000 onam phase were conducted by kudumbasri throughout the state so fa- kud- farmers of kudumbasri women farmers of kudumbasri will produce vegetable and the kudumbasri network will find avenues for marketing and they will also uh, 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 convert this into value added products the kudumbasri small enterprises will convert this into value added products i just gave an example and during this onam uh, more than 2000 hectares of land they cultivated flowers but onam a uh, lot of uh, demand for flowers no normally uh the entire demand for flowers is met uh, from tamil nadu but this time uh, there was widespread flower cultivation by women farmers uh, under kudumbasri kerala sambandhi mi andarki telusu koragayilu biyam itar rashtral meda aadharapadtam dadapu 6000 hectare ల భూమి ఈ కుటుంబశ్రీ కింద కూరగాయలు పండించారు గతంలో అయితే వానం పండుగ సందర్భంగా మనం ఇవన్నీ ఇతర చోట్ల నుంచి తెచ్చుకునేవాళ్ళం కానీ దాదాపు రెండు వేల గ్రూపులు ఈ కూరగాయలను మార్కెటింగ్ చేయటం వీటన్నిటిలో భాగస్వామ్యం అయ్యాయని అట్లాగే వాటికి విలువ కలిసేట్టుగా కూడా దీన్ని రూపొందించాం అట్లాగే వానం పండుగ సందర్భంగా పూలకు బాగా డిమాండ్ ఉంటుంది దాదాపు రెండు వేల హెక్టార్లలో పూలు ఈ కుటుంబశ్రీ స్త్రీలు పండించారు ఇంతకుముందు తమిళనాడు నుంచి దిగుమతి చేసుకునేదల్లా ఇప్పుడు బాగా అక్కడికక్కడే చేసుకోవడం బాగా అభివృద్ధి అవడం సాధ్యమైంది ఫ్రెండ్స్ అవర్ ఆనరబుల్ ఫార్మర్ మినిస్టర్ ఫర్ అగ్రికల్చర్ హ్యాస్ ఆస్ మీ టు స్పెసిఫికలీ టాక్ అబౌట్ ద సపోర్ట్ గివెన్ టు ప్యాడీ ఫార్మర్స్ ఇన్ ద స్టేట్ సో ఐ బ్రీఫ్లీ టాక్ అబౌట్ దాట్ i think you are aware that kerala is the state which is giving the highest msp for paddy farmers in the country it is 28.20 rupees rupees 28.20 uh, per kg uh, in kerala and kerala is spending more than 2000 crores for paddy procurement uh, every year and we are procuring almost 85% of total paddy production that total paddy produced by farmers in the state i i don't think that there is any other state yeah ah the community kp is adding that the procurement at all india level is a mere 10% of total production why in kerala it is almost 85% of total production so that is the uh, level of support given by uh the state government to party farmers atlage mana vyavsaya shaka mantri maji mantri garu variki sambandhinchi kerala etla balaparustundi na rate list ni cheppannaru deshamlone achyadikanga kerala lo 28 rupayalu 20 paisalu prati kg ki aa prabhutvam andistundi dani kosam dadapu 2000 kotla rupayalu dhanyam sekarana kosam aa rashtra prabhutvam vechistundi అంటే రైతులు పండించిన మొత్తం ధాన్యంలో ఎనభై ఐదు శాతం ప్రభుత్వం సేకరిస్తుంది భారతదేశంలో అయితే కేవలం పది శాతమే ప్రభుత్వం ఈ ధాన్యం సేకరణలో భాగస్వామ్యంగా ఉంది ఫ్రెండ్స్ ద గవర్నమెంట్ ఆఫ్ కేరళ ప్రొవైడ్స్ డైరెక్ట్ క్యాష్ ఇన్సెంటివ్ క్యాష్ అసిస్టెన్స్ క్యాష్ అసిస్టెన్స్ ఆఫ్ రూపీస్ ఫైవ్ థౌసండ్ ఫైవ్ హండ్రెడ్ పర్ హెక్టర్ టు ఎవ్రీ పాడీ ఫార్మర్ ఇన్ అడిషన్ కేరళ లోకల్ 
self government institutions mainly panchayats give another rupees 15000 to 17000 per hectare from their plant funds as additional assistance to assistance to rice farmers further from 2021 onwards as a part of program to discourage keeping rice land fallow the government has provided an additional rupees 2000 per hectare as royalty as royalty this payment is provided to farmers who do not keep rice land fallow thus rupees 23000 to 25000 per hectare per year per per year per crop is received by a rice farmer in kerala between 23000 to 25000 by way of uh, royalty by way of uh, incentive by way of direct cash assistance by way of assistance from uh, local self governments an amount of uh, rupees 23 to 25000 is received by every single paddy farmer in the state దీనికి తోడుగా కేరళలో రాష్ట్ర ప్రభుత్వం ప్రతి హెక్టార్కి ఒరి పండించే రైతులకి ఐదు వేల ఐదు వందల రూపాయలు క్యాష్గా నగదుగా అందజేస్తుంది అట్లాగే మరొక పదిహేడు వేల రూపాయలు ప్రతి హెక్టార్కి స్థానిక సంస్థలు అందిస్తాయి అట్లాగే ఇరవై ఇరవై ఒకటి నుంచి రెండు వేల రూపాయలు రాయల్టీకి ఇస్తున్నాం అంటే మొత్తం మీద రైతు అంటే ప్రతి ఒరి పండించే ప్రతి రైతుకి ప్రతి సంవత్సరం ఇరవై మూడు నుంచి ఇరవై ఐదు వేల రూపాయలు ఆ రాష్ట్రంలో అందుతున్నాయి i come from a district called palakkad you many of uh, you may be well aware that palakkad is known as the rice bowl of our state and almost 90% of the uh, paddy produced in palakkad and in alappi these are the two uh, main uh, mainly paddy producing districts almost 90% of the paddy uh, this uh, yes paddy produced in these two districts are procured by the state and uh, apart from this the government of kerala offers one of the highest rates of cash subsidy for vegetable farmers in india the annual subsidy for vegetable farmer is rupees 25000 per hectare for paddy farmer it is between 23 to 25000 for a vegetable farmer it is 25000 per hectare for cool season vegetables the subsidy is rupees 30000 per hectare banana farmers receive an annual subsidy of rupees 30000 per hectare and uh, government and government agencies procure vegetables cultivated by our vegetable farmers these subsidies cover all farming expenses including the cost of seeds planting material fertilizer pesticide and labor costs after harvest kerala's vegetable farmers receive base prices similar to an msp for 16 different vegetables so government has fixed base prices floor prices for 16 different variety of vegetables no other state in india has thus far announced a base price for vegetables the state government has promised that if the price falls below the base price through government outlets the government will buy the produce if the price falls below the base price fixed by the floor price fixed by the state government then the government will procure it to protect vegetable farmers in addition kerala pays an incentive price for rubber at rupees 170 per kilogram and an msp of rupees 32 per kilogram for coconut in brief kerala's agricultural policy has focused on creating incentives for farmers by ensuring remunerative crop price, crop incomes atlage mi andarki telusu palgad jilla వరి పండించే రైతులకి గిన్నె పండించే ప్రధానమైన జిల్లా అలప్పి పాల్గాడు రెండు జిల్లాల్లో దాదాపు ధాన్యం తొంభై శాతం పండిస్తారు దానితో పాటు ఏంటంటే అక్కడ రాష్ట్ర ప్రభుత్వం కూరగాయలకు కూడా క్యాష్ సబ్సిడీస్ ఇస్తుంది 
ఉదాహరణకి కూరగాయలకి దాదాపు ఇరవై ఐదు వేల రూపాయల హెక్టార్కి సబ్సిడీకి ఇచ్చారు అరటికి ముప్పై వేలు అట్లా ఇంకా ప్రతి పంటకి క్యాష్ సబ్సిడీ ఇవ్వడంతో పాటు ప్రభుత్వం అక్కడ పండించి ప్రభుత్వ సంస్థలు ఈ పండించే కూరగాయలు కానీ ఇతర ఇతర వాటికి సంబంధించే వన్నిటిని కొంటుంది అట్లాగే విత్తనాలు మిగతా రకరకాల వాటికి సబ్సిడీస్ కూడా ఇస్తారు బహుశా దేశంలో ఏ రాష్ట్ర ప్రభుత్వం ప్రకటించినట్టుగా పదహారు రకాల కూరగాయలకి కనీస మద్దతు ధర నిర్ణయించారు వాటి రేటు పడిపోతుంటే బయట మార్కెట్లో ఎక్కువ ఉంటే అమ్ముకోవచ్చు ఒకవేళ ఆ రేటు పడిపోతే ప్రభుత్వమే ఆ పంటనంతా కొని వాళ్ళకి కనీస మద్దతు ధర ఇచ్చేట్టుగా ట్రై చేస్తుంది వీటితో పాటు రబ్బరు కొబ్బరు కూడా కనీస మద్దతు ధరలు నిర్ణయించాం యాజ్ రిజల్ట్ ఆఫ్ దీస్ పాలసీ ఇనిషియేటివ్స్ బై ద స్టేట్ గవర్నమెంట్ ద ఎల్డిఎఫ్ గవర్నమెంట్స్ దర్ హాస్ బీన్ ఇంప్రూవ్మెంట్స్ బోత్ ఇన్ ద ఏరియా అండర్ కల్టివేషన్ Uh, and in the production of uh, paddy vegetables and various other agricultural uh, produce it is only because of the support extensive support given by the state government this uh, increase in production happens i don't want to give uh, more data and statistics because i think i have already given uh, <laughs> A lot of uh, data for you. I have uh, data for uh, everything, for the, the increase in agriculture production, increase in vegetable production, increase in paddy production, increase in paddy uh, procurement or in the last uh, few years. But I don't want to give all this data. Uh, so the land under cultivation has increased, both for paddy and vegetables, and for uh, coconut also. for coconut also the government has uh, launched a, a an exclusive scheme called kera gramam under which 272 gram panchayats have been identified uh, for promoting coconut uh, plantation for promoting coconut cultivation and uh, the target is to increase uh, coconut cultivation to an additional area of 144000 hectares additional uh, incentives and support will be given for coconut farmers also so uh, land under cultivation has increased production has increased procurement has increased and of course income of farmers have also increased compare this with the promise of modi government the second modi government promise doubling farmers income by 2022 i was a member of parliament at that time during uh, during modi's uh, first term i was a member of parliament and uh, almost every day in parliament we used to hear this uh, uh, propaganda this uh, in uh, almost every speech they uh, went on repeating doubling farmers income by 2022 now we are living in 2024 whether the farmers income have doubled uh, throughout the country or whether uh, the incomes have dipped so you uh, know better than us but in kerala despite the devastating policies of uh, union government despite the uh, hostile anti farmer policies of uh, modi government despite uh, the financial uh, crisis being imposed on states like kerala the ldf government has been able to support our farmers and improve their income and uh, their their lives atlage ee rashtra prabhutvam kuda ee pratyamana vidhanalaki మార్పు కోసం చొరవ చేస్తుంది అట్లాగే సాగు చేసే రైతులకి మద్దతుగా ఉంటుంది వరి కూరగాయలు ఇతర పంటలకు సంబంధించి మద్దతు ధరలు ప్రకటించడం వాళ్ళకి సపోర్ట్గా ఉండటం అంతా చేస్తున్నాం ఇటీవల కాలంలో వరి కొబ్బరికి సంబంధించి రెండు వందల డెబ్బై రెండు గ్రామాలను గుర్తించాం అక్కడ ఆ గ్రామాల్లో కొబ్బరిని ప్రోత్సహిస్తున్నాం దాదాపు లక్ష నలభై నాలుగు వేల ఎకరాల్లో ఈ కొబ్బరి సాగు లక్ష్యంగా కేరళ ప్రభుత్వం ప్రయత్నం చేస్తుంది కొబ్బరికి కూడా అదనంగా 
సబ్సిడీలు క్యాష్ సబ్సిడీ అన్నీ ఇచ్చి ప్రోత్సహిస్తున్నాం అక్కడ ఇప్పుడు ఉన్న పరిస్థితులు ఏంటంటే కేరళలో కొబ్బరి సాగు చేసే దానిలో భూమి విస్తీర్ణం పెరిగింది ఉత్పత్తి పెరిగింది ప్రభుత్వ సేకరణ కూడా పెరిగింది ఆ కొబ్బరి రైతుల ఆదాయం కూడా బాగా పెరిగింది అయితే దీనికి భిన్నంగా కేంద్రంలో ఉన్న మోడీ ప్రభుత్వం రైతుల ఆదాయం రెట్టింపు చేస్తానని చెప్పేసి చాలా సందర్భాల్లో ప్రగల్భాలు పలికింది నేను ఆ సమయంలో పార్లమెంట్లో ఉన్నాను రోజు ఇదే ప్రచారం చేసుకునే వాళ్ళు అయితే రెండు వేల ఇరవై నాలుగు వచ్చేటప్పటికి రైతుల ఆదాయం మోడీ ప్రభుత్వ పాలనలో పెరిగిందా తగ్గిందా అనేది నాకంటే మీకే బాగా తెలుసు అట్లాగే ఏంటంటే మోడీ ప్రభుత్వానికి భిన్నంగా కేరళ ప్రభుత్వం రైతుల్ని కాపాడటానికి వ్యవసాయాన్ని రక్షించడానికి అనేకమైన పథకాలన్నీ నేను చాలా అంకెలు ఇవన్నీ చెప్పాను అవి సరిపోతాయి అనుకుంటున్నాను ఆ విధంగా కేరళ ప్రభుత్వం రైతాంగాన్ని వ్యవసాయాన్ని కాపాడటానికి తీవ్రంగా కృషి చేస్తుంది before concluding i would like to tell you that all this is being done in a period of severe crisis that is being imposed on the state by the modi government the modi government is suffocating the state government by denying its uh, constitutional rights for uh, economic resources the devolution from the central uh, pool the divisible pool has been drastically reduced almost by half earlier it was 3.92% of total uh, tax devolution to the state of kerala now it has come down to 1.92% so almost uh, half it has been reduced by half and this has uh, caused a huge loss to the state government secondly since the introduction of gst all state governments including the kerala government has been deprived of the powers to generate resources own resources now we cannot impose taxes except uh, a duty on uh, alcohol and a vat on petroleum uh, products and this registration fees on lands these three are the only uh, available resources for us and the state government the union government has stopped gst compensation uh, two years back now there is no compensation and the gst dues are huge igst especially the igst dues are huge in addition to this on the one hand they have reduced our tax share under divisible pool they have denied us gst compensation they have denied us revenue deficit grants they have denied us uh, gst dues and on the other hand in addition to all this they are not allowing to allowing us to borrow necessary resources our borrowing limit has also been drastically reduced as per the frbm act fiscal responsibility and budget management budgetary management act passed by the union government a state government can uh, take loans up to 3% of gdp state gdp the modi government is even denying that but this is not applicable to union government in fact frbm act is applicable to union government also but they can take loan as much as they wish the loan the, the borrow uh, the debt ratio of the union government is almost double of the kerala government the proportion of the debt so they can borrow as much as they wish but at the same time they won't allow us to borrow money they won't either give us our due share so in these two ways 
they are suffocating the LDF government in the states. I would uh, give you an estimate, uh, estimated uh, amount of loss that will give you a picture of how much uh, uh, suffocation we are suffering due to Modi government's policies. In the last seven years, only due to the reduction in our borrowing limit, the loss happened to the state government is 1.7 lakh crores. 1.7 lakh crores due to the reduction in our borrowing limit. You, uh, remember that debt GDP ratio of Kerala has come down to 34% from 39%. Earlier it was 39%. Now it has come down to 34%. At the same time, what is a debt GDP ratio of union government? It is 59%. And they are telling us that you don't borrow money. But we can borrow money. Atlagi Rastron Teoraven Tunti Bandal either calls us in the Rajangam Aukashu Chinti Watnukoda Kandra Prabhupum Akada Amal Chaitaniki Anmutin Chakledu. It is Samanchi Tuesday, Panulu Samaninchi, Gatolo, Dadapu Mud Satanik Paiga Unte Ipudu Oitu Pine Tumi Satan Sagani Paiga Kandram Istundi. At like a GST Samaninchi, Rasha Ada in Pinchkodan come the Margalni, Nishadin Cheru, and Rasha Samajukuni reach stations to Atlantiani, Ada in Pinchkuna, Margal Samanchkoda Waldu, Ibundu Pertinaru. At like a GST Samanchi, Dadapu Chala Bakail Pitesi, Kandra Rilich Chitledu, Okoipemo, FRBM Act to Kandra Lo Passes Kunaru, at like a Rasha Samanchkoda, all a budget lo Mood Satan, Minchi, Pultechkoda, Villa than Jepe Chipteru. Kani Kandra Prabhupto e Dini Um Um Amal Jidu, Kani Rasalame Uttiji C Apukoda Tichkokonda Atankum Kalgistandi, Atla Intente, um Kerala Lo Dadapu Ed Sotra Linchi, um Memo Apulugani, Trama Margalo, uh Adayal Pinchkodum, Chile Podwala, Dadapu, Oiti Point Edu Lakshala, Kotler Opal Kerala Rasum, Nastapo Indi, Atla Ma GDP Chitabu Mupetum Satanichi Mupen Ali Satan put in the Kani Kandra Memo. GDP now, uh, before concluding, let me uh, tell you the politics behind this targeting of Kerala. Why the Modi government is targeting uh, Kerala's LDF government? It's because Kerala is an alternative, both a political and economic uh, alternative. Kerala, despite all these efforts by Modi government, despite uh, troubling our government, our uh, denying our through denial of our resources, Kerala has been able to maintain a very good rate of growth, along with. social justice and economic justice. Our per capita income is almost 60% higher than the national average. Earlier they used to uh, criticize Kerala, that Kerala in terms of welfare it is okay. The left is implementing welfare policies, but they are anti-development. Without Wealth creation, how can you maintain this welfare policies or welfare initiatives? This was the criticism. Now, we have been able to achieve a robust economic growth. That is why I am saying that our per capita income is 60% higher than the national average. And Kerala's rate of growth has been consistently about 10% in the last uh, uh, eight years during the previous LDF government and this LDF government spirits. And uh, Kerala is having the lowest 
rate of poverty in the country. According to Niti Aayog, it is just 0.48% of our population. Remember, the rate of poverty, extreme poverty in the country is 25%, whereas in Kerala, it is below 0.5%. To be precise, it is 0.48. This is not our claim. This is the data provided by Modi's own Niti Aayog. Even they cannot deny the fact. Now the LDF government's topmost priority is to eradicate extreme poverty completely. The very first decision of the second Pinarayi Vijayan government in the very first cabinet meeting was to launch a scheme called EPEP, Eradication of Extreme Poverty. We have identified these extremely poor families. An extensive survey, scientific survey was conducted and we identified 64,006 families as extremely poor. The local self-government institutions have worked to prepare micro plans for each of these 64,006 families. Now this micro plan is being implemented in the last November, 1st November, the Formation Day of Kerala, in the last year, we released a report card which showed that we were able to lift 47% of the extremely poor out of poverty. By this year, we will be able to lift almost 70% uh, of extremely poor out of poverty. And our target is that by next year, by November 1st, 2025, Kerala will become the first state in the country to completely eradicate poverty. So that is our priority. Our priorities are very clear. On the one hand, we are focusing on economic growth. And economic growth is not for the sake of economic growth. It is to generate more resources to ensure social and economic justice. It is to ensure that poverty is eradicated. So we are generating resources and we are spending more on social welfare. Kerala is number one in National School Quality Index. Kerala is number one in health indicators. And Kerala is ranked number one by the same Niti Aayog. Uh, as per the Sustainable Development Index, Sustainable Development Index, SDG goals. In all these respects, I don't, know, I don't want to give details of all this. Recently, uh, Kerala was ranked number one in uh, Urban Governance Index. Kerala was ranked number one in ease of doing business ranking. So, whether it is economic indicators or social indicators, Kerala is ranked as number one in the, in, the, in the country. So Modi government realizes that this is a threat. Because if Kerala can, why other states are unable to perform like this? This question will arise. This is a political question. This will have to answer this politically. So they don't want this alternative to survive. They don't want this alternative to exist. They want to finish the LDF government, which means that they want to destroy the alternative model created by the LDF government in the state. So that is the politics. The politics lies there. So, friends and comrades, we need to highlight the Kerala model the alternative policies being pursued by the LDF government in Kerala under difficult times. And this is a model which can be emulated throughout the country. We can project this model before the people of our country. So your effort is commendable. Your solidarity uh, for the government of Kerala and for the people of Kerala is uh, 
is over overwhelming and i on behalf of government of kerala and people of kerala would like to thank you for this solidarity and support thank you very much atlage mano ee vishayalanni charchinchukune sandarbhanga deeni venakunna rajakeyalu ento kuda manam choodali atlage ఎందుకంటే కేరళ ప్రత్యామ్నాయం ఒక విధంగానే కాదు కేరళలో ఆర్థిక రంగంలో ప్రత్యామ్నాయంగా ఉన్నాం అట్లాగే రాజకీయ రంగంలో ప్రత్యామ్నాయంగా ఉన్నాం అందుకనే కేరళ మంచి అభివృద్ధి సాధిస్తుంది మన పర్ క్యాపిటల్ ఇన్కమ్ వచ్చేసి పదహారు శాతం కంటే ఎక్కువగా ఉంటుంది కేంద్ర కేంద్ర ప్రభుత్వం యొక్క పర్ క్యాపిటల్ ఇన్కమ్ కంటే పదహారు శాతం ఎక్కువ అట్లాగే సంక్షేమ కార్యక్రమాలు ఆదాయాలు పెంచుకునే దాంట్లో కేరళ ముందుంటుంది అట్లాగే పది శాతం నిలకడగా అభివృద్ధి చెందే రాష్ట్రాల్లో కేరళ మొదటి స్థానంలో ఉంది అట్లాగే అతి తక్కువ దారిద్ర్యం ఉన్న రాష్ట్రం కేరళ ఈ దేశంలోనే కేరళలో ఉన్న దారిద్ర్యం కేవలం సున్నా పాయింట్ ఐదు శాతమే కానీ భారతదేశంలో ఉన్న దారిద్ర్యం దాదాపు ఇరవై ఐదు శాతం ఉంది ఇది మనం చెప్పిన లెక్కలు కాదు మోడీ గారు పెట్టుకున్నటువంటి నీతి ఆయోగ్ చెప్పినటువంటి లెక్కలు కాబట్టి ఈ లెక్కలను మనం ఏమి చేయలేం కాబట్టి వాస్తవాలు ఇవి అందుకనే కేరళలో మేము అనుకునేది ఏంటంటే ఈపీఈపి అనే పథకాన్ని రూపొందించి కేరళని దారిద్ర్యం లేని మంచి రాష్ట్రంగా అభివృద్ధి చేయాలని చెప్పేసి అనుకున్నాం అందుకనే సూక్ష్మమైన ప్లాన్ ఒకటి తయారు చేసి సర్వే చేస్తే అరవై నాలుగు వేల ఆరు కుటుంబాలు ఇది దారిద్ర్యంలో ఉన్నాయని చెప్పేసి గుర్తించాం గత సంవత్సరం నవంబర్ ఒకటిన రిపోర్ట్ విడుదల చేసింది ఏమంటే వీటిల్లో నలభై ఏడు శాతం దారిద్ర్య రేఖ నుంచి కొంచెం పైకి వచ్చినట్టుగా చెప్పాం తర్వాత సంవత్సరం డెబ్బై శాతం అయ్యారు రెండు వేల ఇరవై ఐదు ఇరవై నవంబర్ ఒకటి నాటికి కేరళ దేశంలోనే దారిద్ర్యం లేనటువంటి మంచి రాష్ట్రంగా ప్రకటించాలని చెప్పేసి అభిప్రాయపడుతున్నాం అట్లాగే కేరళ విద్యలో నెంబర్ వన్ ప్లేస్లో ఉంది వైద్యంలో నెంబర్ వన్ ప్లేస్లో ఉంది కేరళ నిలకడగా అభివృద్ధి అయ్యే రాష్ట్రాల్లో మొదటి స్థానంలో ఉంది అట్లాగే ఈజ్ ఆఫ్ డూయింగ్ బిజినెస్లో కూడా ముందు స్థానంలో ఉంది పట్టణ దీనికి సంబంధించి కూడా ముందుంది అంటే వీటన్నిటికి సంబంధించి ఈ ఇతర రాష్ట్రాల్లో లేనిది కేరళలో మాత్రమే జరుగుతుంది దీనికి కారణం ఏంటంటే అక్కడ ఉన్న ప్రత్యామ్నాయ విధానాలు అందుకనే కే కేంద్ర ప్రభుత్వం దీన్ని పోటీ పడి ఇతర రాష్ట్రాల్లో ఈ విధంగా ముందుకు వచ్చేదానికి కాకుండా అక్కడ ఉన్నటువంటి వామపక్ష ప్రభుత్వాన్ని ఇబ్బందులు పెట్టి బలహీనపరిచి దాన్ని కోల్చడానికి ఈ దేశంలో ప్రత్యామ్నాయం లేదని చెప్పి చెప్పడానికి ప్రయత్నం చేస్తుంది అందుకనే కేరళ మోడల్ కోసం కష్ట సమయాల్లో కూడా ఉన్నటువంటి ఉన్న సందర్భంగా మీరందరూ సహకరించడం వీటన్నిటినీ తీసుకోవాలి అందుకనే ఏంటంటే ఈ దేశంలో ముందుకు తీసుకుపోవడానికి ఈ ఆల్టర్నేటివ్ మోడల్ ముందుకు తీసుకుపోవడానికి మద్దతు ఇస్తున్న మీ అందరికీ ధన్యవాదాలు తెలియజేస్